I forget now. It's like, uh... uh you know, like in my movies, I'll like incorporate just little, tiny little pieces of... It's incongruous to yeah, the movie. Yeah, yeah, totally, but, but like a, just like a... Right now, for instance, like a, a tiny little shot of you, like right now, just in the film. Not necessarily in that sequence, but at a different part of the movie. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a good idea. It's pretty creative, John. Yeah, because the, the, the pieces are there. Yeah. Yeah, pretty smart. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. You know, back when we barely knew each other and I entered that uh, studio and I was like imagining making a film. Oh, oh my God, yeah. It's like, hey, you know. We're how, doing how it many, now. How many years went by and then it started to happen? I know. You, you know, at that t the time that you came to my studio, you mm -hmm. were already directing me. You were like, go to the window. Mm -hmm. Look, pretend you're smoking a cigarette. Or at yeah. that time, I was really smoking real cigarettes. Yeah, it was, you know, it was, you look out. It wasn't pretend you're smoking a cigarette, smoking a cigarette. Yeah, yeah. I forgot yeah, what the you, scenario Yeah, you look out, and, and it was kind of a gloomy, gray day, as if, I, if I recall. I think it was at night. Yeah, I don't know. No, it was in the late afternoon. Oh, it was? Mid, mid to late afternoon. So you demonstrated what you wanted. Yeah. And then I was walking, doing this stuff. Yeah, you're right. I kind of barely knew you, and you're like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I had you go outside your studio <laughs> and then come in. Yeah. And then go check the... Windows, like yeah, so was this going on. manic person was in your studio by himself for about 10 seconds. By himself? Oh, yeah, well, me. big deal. Yeah, right. Well, you barely Well, I was me. buying it. I mean, I was like... I know. It's like... Okay. <laughs> yeah, and then the, that guitar case was there with, without a guitar in it. Mm-hmm. Or no, no, the guitar was there. Yeah, yeah, and it was his guitar. Oh, yeah, and then she... Well, did she come to pick up the guitar? She came. She came to get it. Yeah. Or the case. I told her. Well, she I, was I can't. Pissed. I can't remember. Yeah. She, yeah. I imagine so. I mean, she hated my guts at that point. She went from being totally into me and hot for me to, <laughs> yeah. to just hating my guts in the space of twelve hours, basically. I mean, so <laughs> imagine how awful that is. From her standpoint, I I sympathize with her. She 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 got me at the wrong time. <laughs> yeah, she did. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. And I couldn't explain it to her. I mean, I didn't know that I had manic depressive illness either. You didn't? You're right. Yeah, you get because you get a you get need a contrast. Yeah, you do. It's a formula that's been used thousands of times. I think you know, like, and what's useful is now garbage. The contrast between Rip Augustine and Linda Kramer. Linda Kramer, this really dark, depressed person. Mm-hmm. God. Yeah. And Rip Augustine, this you know, egomaniac. Dude, you know, that is, you know, Linda, Linda, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, you can tell he's manipulating. And, and she, and she's like this, you know, she's like, <laughs> she's been beaten down. Yeah. She's haggard. Yeah, that's right. And he's trying to make her happy. He's trying to cheer her up. He thinks he can cheer her up by saying the words cheer up. Well, they, well, they can't. <laughs> <We> just, 
<laughs> well, he can't. He just can't. Which is a standard thing that a lot of idiots think. <laughs> gave the cashier my money and got my groceries and I went back out to the parking lot and I sat in the car and I just looked around and people were walking to their cars, walk, getting out of their cars. Some people were just sitting in their cars like I was, thinking their own thoughts in their own world. And it occurred to me that I was totally alone and there was no way to communicate with anybody and I knew that there wasn't any way to communicate right then because I was just by myself in a car. Maybe I could call somebody later, talk to them on the phone or maybe try to find somebody at home, be in person and from that point on, for a while anyway. I was in this kind of several months long state where nothing touched my interior deeply. It was almost like my skin was made out of brick and it was just like this hard thing that nothing could penetrate. A sense of displacement a woman told me once that she felt displaced, and I finally knew what that meant. Not there. Ephemeral. Almost like an image in a movie. She's reading the book, like... The Marble Fawn by Nathaniel Hawthorne? Yeah, because she... But it's The Marble Fawn. <laughs> it's The Marble Fawn. By Nate Hawthorne. Oh, uh, Nate. Yeah, she kind of... She's... Uh, she hams it up for the cam. Yeah, she's a camera ham. She's a camera ham. It'd be interesting to have a camera that's inside of a ham. So it's like the guy's holding a ham. <laughs> Oh, you know, like John. when you when you like those big oh, John. Like, it's got all that jelly fat, you know. Ew. Like, it's like, oh yeah, like a canned ham. Yeah. Like it'd be a, a nice thing to hold, but it would be cold. Ew. Yeah. With the jelly on it. It's featuring Sylvester Davis on the cold camera. On the cold camera. Oh, we lost. I guess that we have. Oh, that's not enough. Hell, man, now you're looking at her. You're so old. Hell, man,
convinced them that you're a hipster. Oh, good. They think that you know what you're doing when it comes to talking about Jack Kerouac and Ornette Coleman and all those uh, people that you actually don't know anything about. Oh my God, I so know about so Ornette. Got, so all you gotta do is pretend like you know what you're doing. I always do. That's how I operate. are like compressions of what happened in your life because right now compared to like let's say 1991 for a while I was not even in this state and I'm not talking about mental state I'm talking about a state of the US yeah. a very different place with a very different climate and yet all that's in my memory right yeah. and it can just in my mind I can just think of it you know there I am because I remember that I can see it you can see things with your eyes open you yes know? yes Things that happen to you. Yeah. Sometimes you're reminded. It's like when you go, just drive down a street that you're familiar with and, you know, go for a while, half a mile or something like that. It's like, oh, I've been in that house. I've been in that house. Mm -hmm. I was at a party at that house. <laughs> I knew yeah. a kid that lived in that house. I was in his house in ninth grade. Mm -hmm. You know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And, 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 um, you know, I, I bought a book at a garage sale in that house, mm -hmm. that, that kind of thing. It's like, and, and you remember mm -hmm. what that book was. And it's like, so all these associations, are, I haven't thought about that. And you realize I haven't thought about that in a long time. Mm -hmm. But now I just thought of it because I just looked at it. Mm -hmm. So all that's in your head. But it was also outside, you know, which is like the whole idea, basically, of idios cosmos, koinos cosmos, that maybe they're, they interpenetrate each other. Hmm. Murders, mysteries, unsolved, unsolved mysteries. You know how like dreams shift scenes? Yeah. Topography. Yes. Know, it's like things, they move around and... And people. Yeah. But you like, can like, tell it's yeah. the same person, you're, but they... Like you're, you're in high school. Yeah. It's like, oh, I recognize this from, you know, there's Mr. So-and-so, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. There's my locker. Yes. But, then, but then, then you just almost like you go around a corner and you're in a different place. Yeah. That, that's, that's the Dada kind of thing. I think Dada is not dead. Watch your overcoat. That, that's what uh, Andre Breton said. Who's that? He was a, a poet. Right. Did he say it? A surrealist poet. 
that's that's a mysterious statement. Dada is not dead. Watch your overcoat. <laughs> I think what it means is this is my interpretation of that line. It's a famous line. Uh, the, he said it like after Dada was kind of in the background of history, you know. Yeah. It, it had had its heyday, I guess you could say. Yeah. But he said, you know, there are still people out there, artists who wild kind of artists that that. Um, you know, it's like you put your overcoat, you walk into somebody's house and you put your overcoat down. Well, watch your overcoat. You know, Dada is not dead. Watch your overcoat. In other words, watch your overcoat means all kinds of things. It means, it means, uh, you know, watch that painting there. Watch that thing. Just because just you don't assume that some prankster is going to come along. You know, because the Dadaists were just like, they, they took everything that was accepted as, ex as normal and good mm -hmm. in society and everything, and they just said, "Bah," you know. They came out of out of World War One. You know, there was it was World War One veterans, German World War One veterans in Switzerland, the Cabaret Voltaire, <laughs> Hulsenbeck and Ball. You know, they 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 put on shows. You know, that were just total upside down presentations of what a show was supposed to be. What you eating, Irene? Pretzels? Thin, flat, mm. stackable. Stackable goodness. And dip dippable. What's the dip? Hummus. A little bit of hummus dip. Oh, that's awesome. I wasn't even, uh, I just looked at it. At spiders. At a, a, a spider. It was one that was hanging right in the middle of its web. Yep. That's a, and be I, that's and a beautiful I, sight. Yeah, and I saw it like that. Well, I tried to see it like that. It's interesting how the car can make its own music. You ever see those roads? There, there's a few roads that I've been on. And the the they've been tied they've been um, graded the you know the, the road has been graded to, to, to like form like if you go a certain speed let's say sixty five miles an hour you can actually play a song. Come on. Yeah. Where? There, I don't know. I think there's one down in um, the southwest someplace. We need those up here. All of them should be like that. All of them should be like that. They and I'm be, talking, I want the them to be funk, of, too. The, the complete symphonies of Beethoven. Or funk. You know, funk. you could like put your, this is what should really happen. You should be able to have a track that you can go on where you can choose what kind of genre you want to listen to. Whether it's right. classical or, you know, um, or, or easy listening. <laughs> Heavy metal. Heavy metal. Mm -hmm. Little Ozzy in there. You you could you can provide your own um, lyrics, right or uh, do your own karaoke with this. Ah, I don't know if I wonder my face. This is kind of. Have an aversion to that. It is poison. I know. Okay. I'm gonna... ah! 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 What about your hair? Ah! What about your hair? Um. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> You ready? Yeah. 
Oh my god. You wanna do it first? Go ahead. What about your hair? Good thinking. I don't call them ankle butters for nothing. Oh god. Woo hoo! Oh, that's it's a good smell. Don't forget your don't forget your left arm. <laughs> oh, don't forget your right arm. <laughs> oh that's gross. It's like, oh, I walked god. around at Hokey Oji with that on for three days. Straight. Holy shit. Time. And no chance of a shower. Uh, it's poison, you're right. Hey, you forgot your right arm. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Why did they put a, they, they put a scent in there? Why did they do that? I should have worn long pants. I was thinking it was going to be unbelievably hot. I thought it was going to be, too. You know, a real scorcher. Laura loves Pete, and look at how high that is. That is the best one because it's the highest. It's the, it's the, it's the, it's the most points for declaration of love. Somebody risked their life to do that. God. Mosquito? Yes. Right in my face. He's like looking for that, he's looking for that one spot that you missed. What? This looks damp. Yeah, it's, um, well, I think it's been raining the last couple days. What is that symbol? It's probably a... What are these people, the underachievers? The ones that just, like, go, they just go for the lowest hanging fruit? Skills on camera, John. Or the silver stick that I just found. Good job. Look, the ants, the ants made it. The ants always make it. Oh, this is so cool. Check it out, you can go this way now. Irene.
Yeah. They say that this rock has been here for hundreds of millions of years. Hundreds of millions of years. Back before the dinosaurs had cars. Oh my God, that, that's incredible. It I, is incredible. It swung slowly and closed itself of its own accord. Miriam and Donatello were now alone now. She clasped her hands and looked wildly at the young man whose form seemed to have dilated and whose eyes blazed with fierce energy that had suddenly inspired him. It had kindled him into a man. These last words struck Miriam like a bullet. Could it be so? Had her eyes provoked or assented to this deed? She had not known it, but alas, looking back into the frenzy and turmoil of the sea just acted, she could not deny she was not sure whether it might be so or no. That a wild joy had flamed up in her heart when she beheld her persecutor in his mortal peril. Was it horror or ecstasy or both in one? Be the, be the emotion what it might have blazed up more madly when Donatello flung his victim off the cliff and more and more while... Running through your life through there? Yeah, I mean, you just think you're running for your life. Being chased by two troglodytes. <laughs> Wait, what is that? I was thinking of a trilobite, but chances trilobite. of getting away are probably really good. They both start with TR. Yeah. Some kind of prehistoric menacing numb. creature. It's what? It's numb. A little bit numb. It's also sweating. Is it really? Yeah, there's well, a glisten. There's that, a gleam. That could be the... Never if we could go back to the 1970s, you would see me and my brother like scrambling around back here. Back here? Yeah. You've already been to the back of the rock. Yeah, we've been all around. I mean, I, I don't think it was this grown up in really? those days. No. Oh, wow. Interesting. I wonder who owns this land. Is this a state park? It's a state park. Wisconsin owns it. We own it. It reminds me of blueberries, but they're not. They look, look at how gorgeous they look against the green background. This reminds me of, I've been just getting into listening to stories of um, the little folk. Leprechauns? Close. Elves. Oh. Do you think there are elves here? It, I was just gonna, my question was gonna be, if you were an elf. Wood elves? Where would you live? In the forest. I know, but where? I mean, here, you, got, you, got, you can choose any place. Well, they probably have like a 
like a little underground city. Where would you live? I don't know. I'm scoping it out right now. I think this would be one of my favorite areas over here, this area, because it's not, it's not, uh, you know, well-traveled. It's, it's really hard to say. Maybe down that way a little bit. I don't know. Or maybe over here. Uh, I might clear out some of this right here. Have you considered that you might be an elf? Uh, it has been suggested, but I don't believe it. I've suggested it. it. You have? Yes. Okay, well, some here's something Some people are else. elves. You know, they have elf qualities. Do they have selkie qualities, though? They come from the same lines of storytelling. Did you come from the sea? Not this time around. Possibly in another time. And they're all from the British Isles. And from Scotland. Scotland, Ireland. All well, of these what, stories. What is, oh, the, the elf stories and, um, and the selkie stories. It's pretty interesting. I'm learning a lot. I, I used to re be really put off by it, but uh, I'm, I'm keeping an open mind and I'm really learning that um, I should have learned this a long time ago. I should have learned about this a long time ago and had an open mind. If we meet an elf out here, we can offer him some pretzel chips. We should because you don't want to be... I bet they it, haven't had that yet. It's a good idea. You, you don't... And if you're looking for them, forget it. They're not... You will not see it. So they might be like in the periphery, but as soon as you look over there, they're gone. It could happen. Kind of like a mosquito. Uh, yeah, and I didn't put any deep woods off on my hair. Matt, Dan, Brent, D Mom, Dad, Kate. You got Charlie. You got Charlie. You got you got your R.I.P. Frankie, Casey, Sam, Fred, Lori. People, Marilyn, Q-tip. Q-tip? Q-tip. Right under Eric there with the H. Brew, Joe, Jen, Ty, Noah. a little bit of um, <laughs> big Edie, little Edie from Grey Gardens, I think. She's little, got some of that. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I do love little Edie. I know you do. A whole bunch. She's the, um, she's the old woman? She's the younger, little Edie. She's the young, she's the young she one. the scarf. Yeah. Imitator. Right I'll, on I'll, demand? I'll, I'll, I'll imitate her and then, then you try to do it. She's like this. Because yeah, she's got that thing coming down like this, right? Yeah, around her face. She's got a melon head face, too. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> she's like... <"Whoa." laughs> she has this kind of... Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Oh, my God. That's so, really great. 
<laughs> oh yeah, she walks just like that, John. Yeah, she does. You do that one again. That was a good. That was good. Wait, hang on. My hand doesn't bend this way. Okay, go, go. Oh. <laughs> That's exactly it. Yeah, she's oh got, yeah. She's, she's got. I think she's got a bit of a thing for um, the Maisels brothers. She definitely has something yeah. for the Maisels because she, she she makes love to their camera a lot. And she's she she does for one of the brothers. She's got it. She's. She's got it bad. Yeah. She's got it bad. Yeah. I'm telling you. And here's the mom. She's like sitting on the bed. She's just like, she's like, like that. <laughs> yeah. That faded Bouvier aristocracy look on her face, you know? <laughs> so. Oh, God, I love those Would guys. Would you like to see any other impressions? Um... Well, the walk was really great. Do you have any quotes? Quotes from that movie? Uh huh. Uh, Those oh, are harder. Yeah, well, you you're better at that than I. Yeah, I haven't seen it for a while. You're very familiar with that film. I've only seen it once. I have to I have to refresh my memory on it. Things are getting better. Dogs, raccoons, cats—they get a little boring. <laughs> after a while. After a while. You know, after a while they get boring. Yeah. Boring. The marble fawn. It's like I'm driving and, and uh, somebody does something that just is egregiously off, you know, in terms of being safe. Yeah. And and I and it affects me, you know. I think about how it affects me. I mean, they say that about the introvert, you know, that the introvert always thinks about how it affects him or herself. What does the extrovert think? They think about how it affects the outer world more, I think. Hmm. Yeah, well, I They're, always think Extroverts about are more focused about me. focus of the outer world. Well, right, that's it. Yeah, They're introverts are always, are always grabbing it and pulling it back into themselves. From beneath the placid surface of everyday life, a war is being fought. What's your favorite color? Red. Oh yeah, I've asked you that before, haven't I? But in a different there, film. Yeah. In a different film. I have to quantify that though by saying uh, deep red, not fire mm -hmm. engine red. Yeah. You like? I'm, I happen to be wearing a red shirt, but it's not deep red. It's fire engine. It's fairly. You'll let's see what your assessment is when we get into the restaurant. Restaurant. Something happened there. I think it's coffee. Yeah, probably. Right, you get a coffee stain. Well, what do you expect? Got my coffee to drink here, John. It's part of my. You know, black black women have sisters, but white women. We hate each other. <laughs> Looks like the plan has uh, gone awry, Irene. Ar awry, Irene. Oh, hey, check this out. Check this out. Oh, there's a place that I can worship Christ. Yeah, and look at, and look at what's right here. This
man and woman, male he created, <laughs> and fe he created them. Remember? Mm hmm. I do remember. Adam is like that. Shoot, shoot me as Adam. But I named all the plants and the animals, and God said, yes, well, that's what their name is. What more should I do? Eve. Eve. Eve is looking different. <laughs> I noticed that she looks different than me. I think I drove past it when I was on my way to, to Iowa. It's really cool. And um, it's like a remnant of a geologic age. <laughs> anyway, what I'd like to do is for you and me to drive out there and shoot some video for a film and then some vid have lunch and come back to town just uh, like a little jaunt that would be fun because it's not very far away all right 